Hey, Brock and Jess with Bama Geeks, and we are out here in Carrollton, Alabama, in Dickens County. It's about an hour and a half or so west of Birmingham, and it's home to one of Alabama's most famous ghost stories. Right, story I've heard uh, since I've been a little child. I've never actually been here to the courthouse, so me and Brock just figured we would take a drive this weekend and come check things out down here. Yeah, and we did not expect a fall festival. We expect a nice, quiet uh, Carrollton, which it usually is, but uh, we happened upon a fall festival, but it actually worked out for our benefit and for yours because we've met a couple of people uh, who can tell you a little bit about the ghost story, the man who's got his face etched in the window mm -hmm. of the Pickens County Courthouse. So we're gonna tell you about that legend and let you hear both sides of the story and uh it's halloween season it's a perfect time to be here and get this let's talk about some ghost stories let's talk hope you enjoy it Yankees burned the first one in 1865 in April, and then the second one was uh, burned by, and I can't say Henry Wells and Bill Burkhalter because they admitted to it, mm -hmm. but uh, that was in 1876, and uh, like I say, that's was built two years later. Bill Burkhalter was caught over in Tuscaloosa mm -hmm. for another crime, and they uh, had him, had warrants over here, and when they brought him over here, to help himself, he told it about Henry burning the courthouse. Henry was uh, caught, or they learned that he lived right down here above Alice. So they sent a couple of deputies down there to apprehend him. Mm -hmm. Well, that's <clears throat> what was his downfall because he tried to run and they shot him. Mm -hmm. So he was shot a couple times in the leg and uh, when uh, they got him back up here, the word got out. So people were mad extremely mad so they started gathering and they was going to take justice into their own hand that's when the sheriff this room right over here you see the access into the attic they brought him up here from the basement mm -hmm. and took him up into the attic and laid him there while he went down to try to calm the crowd during that time you've got a storm that starts up rain light and right and I try to explain to the kid, you know, it's like taking a picture. Mm -hmm. This guy's scared and he's got his face pressed against the window with the oils off his face mm -hmm. and water on the outside. Then the lightning flash. Mm -hmm. Took a picture of him on that window pane. But saying all that, that windows, and we've got newspaper records showing mm -hmm. all the windows were busted in this building right. from a hell storm. Well, that one wasn't. And you know, people's talked about it being damaged. As far as I know, that's the same one that's been there since he was there. So, people have got the impression he was taken out and hung. What he wasn't. Mm -hmm. He died from his gunshot wounds. Mm -hmm. He went septic on him, and within a week he was dead. He died in the building in the basement. Hey, my name is Brenda Turner. I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. My mother is Laura Hurst. Smith and her mother was over there, Hurst, Wells, and she married a Hurst. And there they go, right there. There's my mother and there's some mother. And the face in the courthouse window is my great grandpapa, great great grandpapa, Henry Wells, and I think we call him Clifford Wells for the sake of his life. And he had help in the day. Everybody thought he was hung, but they didn't hang him. 
the sheriffs saved him and hid him in the garret. Really? And he was still alive. And, and his proof right here. My mom took this picture of him. I knew him. He was in his hundreds when I was a little bitty girl. But everybody was like, he's kind of strange. And the other kids would kind of hear him and run off. But I would sit and listen. And I didn't know, couldn't remember what he told me about. And uh, my mom told me one day, she says, I was asking about my relatives, about why so many light skinned people in our family. And she told me about my great great my white grandmother and great great Indian from St. Augustine um, down in Florida. And I was like, okay, okay. And that's understandable. Then she said, and that face in that cool house window is okay to you too. I said, oh, shut your mouth. She said, yes, it is too. And I said, okay, so I got my research from Miss Johnson, which she had went to the Travel Channel to get the truth out, but they didn't tell the story right. They said they hung him, but they didn't hang him. I wish I could talk to the Travel Channel and give them the real truth, because I got the real truth. That's my great-great-grandpapa. He was a, a preacher, he was a good man, and they accused him of burning the courthouse down, but he did. So that's the, 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 the rebel war, I got the evidence that when they had the war back then, they burnt the building down out on the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, and they burnt this courthouse down. So they tried to blame him for burning the courthouse down, but he did. And the sheriff hit him in the garret, actually helped him. So, and they say he died from gangrene from being shot in the leg when they tried to catch him. Not so. They just said that to throw the mob off to keep them from killing him. He had great help in the days. They did, they did not hang him. He was still alive. And Miss Johnson gave me all the good information that I need to go in my book. How was the rest of his life after that? The rest of his life was, he was with my um, mother's grandfather, his son. And that would be the one he's with right there. And uh, he lived with him for, let's see, the rest, most of his life. Now, he, he lived to be 96, his son. He was 96 when he passed. He was in his hundreds, hundred and something, but they lost count. So they changed his name to Clifford to, to protect him. Right, right. That's what I believe. The reason why he don't, they don't, nobody never say Henry Wells, they just say uh, Papa Cliff. And if that's the face in the window, we call him Papa Cliff, then they changed his name. Jane O'Reilly and Miss Nyla Campbell. That's going to wrap it up for us here in Carrollton. We hope you enjoyed an Alabama ghost story, Mr. Henry Wells. Which version is true? Who knows? Who knows? But it's October. Happy Halloween. Bye, everybody.